Hi there, welcome back to the channel. So here in today's video, I'll go ahead and teach you how you can clone your iMac to your brand new SSD. In the same way, you'll be able to transfer all of the things, including your Mac OS, along with all this important file that you have on your iMac. It's an easy way to just simply transfer all this data at once. Here is how you can do it. Now, first of all, if you want to clone all this data, you need to have your SSD, HDD, or any drive that you actually want to transfer your data off. After that, first, you got to format the drive by using your Mac. Here, I'm going to just go ahead and connect my SSD to my iMac here. Right after that, just go ahead and click on the spotlight search and type disk utility. Now, open this up. Well, once you come over here, first, all you got to do, just go ahead and choose your SSD. See here, this is my SSD. Now, all I want to do here, I want to click on erase. And while you're erasing your device, make sure to choose this format called macOS extended journal. Now, once you choose this option here, click on erase. Now, your device is going to be erased just in a moment. Now click on done. We highly recommend you to rename your SSD so that you don't get confused with your other drive. Once you just say a name for your SSD here, the next thing that you got to do is simply close your application here. All right, guys, now you got to just restart your iMac. Now, before you do that, make sure you're actually using the wear keyboard with your iMac. If you're using wireless keyboard, it will might not work. Now, just go ahead and click a restart. Now, once you just click on restart here, and as soon as you hear that startup sounds from your iMac here, quickly press the command keys and the R keys and keep them hold unless you see the recovery logo or let's recovery mood appears on your iMac. Well, once you come over here, first, all you got to do here, just go ahead and click on disk utility here. All right. So once you come over here, you got to click on restore and make sure you're selecting your external drive, which is SSD from here. So I'll just click on restore and now it will give me a prompt. So you got to click here. Now, this is your partition. So here you got to choose exactly the drive that you want to just clone all your data, including the system file. So here, this is the Mac OS with data. So I'll go ahead and choose this option or this drive from here because I want to clone it from there. So now just go ahead and click on restore here. Now the restoring process is going to start happening from here. Keep in mind, depending on how many files you stored on your iMac, it can take a little while. So leave your iMac as it is until the process is done. Try not to turn off your iMac while the process is going on. Alright guys, now you have done just cloning or transferring all those data including Mac OS and the other's data to your new external drive. Now let's go ahead and restart the computer and see how it works. All right, guys, so once I just restarted my computer here, as you guys can see now, the drive name has been changed with Mac OS. That means my whole operating system has been cloned to my SSD here. Even if I just click on Finder and come over here, here it says Mac OS. Well, if I want to eject it, I can simply click here to eject it from my iMac. As you guys can see, it is removed from my iMac here. That means my whole process has been done. Alright guys, so this is a way that you guys can literally clone or transfer all of this data including your system and others data from your iMac to your external drive and this is what you need to do. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.